Husnan other than the African lion. Able to kill almost any creature on land or water, the king remains unchallenged, and fighting him can be difficult and fatal for any creature, as his reputation comes from his strong claws and jaws. But the king has only one main enemy, the Maasai tribe. So what do you think happens when the Maasai attack a lion? Do they get their necks broken? Or is it goodbye for the lion? For over 2000 years, the Maasai of Kenya and Tanzania have shared their lands with lions and their wealth resides in their cattle, which they must protect against anything, including lions. Here the Maasai have absolutely no fear of lions, as the two have been hunting each other for the better part of their existence. The two however have one thing in common, they are both hunters, hence the competition here is fierce. The Maasai hunters don't need any guns or automatic weapons during lion hunting, so how do they do it? Well, keep watching to find out. The Maasai have always hunted lions, but they have never tried to exterminate them as their sacred animals, who ensure the survival of their cattle. As a result, hunting of lions to them is a rite of passage into adulthood, which every young warrior must undergo. Lion hunting to the Masa is vital and may be strange, painful and dangerous, but to them it's a very important step into the life of a boy, where they're finally seen as men. The Masa believe that lion hunting experience proves bravery and personal achievement. When it comes to hunting, the warriors are expected to show off that they can fight with skill and confidence. They hunt in groups of about 10 to 20 men, as solo hunting requires extreme confidence and advanced hunting skills. Solo lion hunting usually happens in random occasions, like when the warrior is out in the grassy plains herding the cattle, then is suddenly attacked. If the warrior fights back during such an attack, they must be very passionate about the game. With only a spear, sword and a shield, the journey begins at dawn. The warriors sneak out of the village in order to avoid discouragement from elders and women. Senior warriors select a group of qualified comrades with elaborate hunting skills. The group is considered mature, strong and capable to face a lion. But neither of them is really frightened, as they have been preparing themselves for this moment from earliest childhood. Lions have killed some of their friends and family, and they all know by heart the victorious tales of brave fighters who stood up to the lion. Some others who seem weak are rejected and return to the village and keep the information about the hunting confidential. The now selected hunters pass by the village sorcerer, who before the hunt cooks a precious magic potion for the warriors. The potion gives the warriors extra strength to fight the king of the jungle. The typical hideout of lions is in grassy plains and deep inside the forests. The lion search ranges from 20 minutes to 10 hours. Once they find a lion, they must provoke a fight between them and the beast. The first method is to chase the beast with cattle belts and make him upset. This chasing game irritates and angers the lion, forcing him to face the hunter's head on. The second successful lion hunting method is to force the lion leave its kill. All of these methods will provoke a fight between the warriors and the lions. Now that the lion is angered and provoked, he charges the warriors, ready to fight with his strong claws and jaws. But the warriors are armed too, with the sorcerer's magic potion, spears, swords and shields. They will throw their spears from all directions, which will pierce its skin causing extreme blood loss until it's unconscious. Then using their swords, the others will stab the lion deep until its death is certain. The success of lion hunting brings excitement and gratitude to the whole community. The achievement is perceived as great bravery and warriors are awarded this headdress which means they killed the great beasts. The community will honor the lion hunters with much respect throughout their lifetime. Although the Maasai warriors are no longer allowed to hunt the king of the jungle, confrontation still occurs and lions are still hunted occasionally when they attack Maasai livestock which are central to the Maasai livelihood. Losing livestock to lions is a great tragedy to a Maasai family. Therefore, protecting the cows from lions has always been a matter of great concern to every Maasai. <laughs> 